Okay, so Brandon Lee is one of the newest YouTubers around here and he has been making videos for a year or so now. But his videos are something that you should watch out for. If you are a videographer and if you are not a videographer, then you should watch his video to get inspired. So with that being said, what's up guys, Special Sammy here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Brandon Lee transition, which is showed in his video. Okay, so this is the clip which I have taken. I am taking the same clip only. So this includes rotation, zoom in, a 4K clip, a mobile phone and a screen replacement. So you need a 4K clip so that you can rotate the whole screen and you need to zoom in so that there is no edges on the both sides. Okay, so this particular portion is the rotation part. This is the zoom part and the rotation part and this is the screen replacement part. So doing this is pretty simple, I am going to use another clip from the same footage and then I am going to replace it here so that you guys can understand how to shoot this. First cut the clip where the screen has just been shown and then drag another footage on top of it. And then go to the first frame and then right click, okay, first let me change the size, right click, distort, set a keyframe on the top left hand side and then start distorting and make it fit to the size of the screen and remember like you always say when you do this you need to keep each and every frame and you need to mask sorry I mean you need to distort each and every frame very very carefully otherwise this effect will not look good and the footage will be a bit shaky and not look natural at all or if you don't want to do this then you can export the same footage there on your mobile phone and then shoot it with the mobile phone and the camera and then just use a small simple dissolve effect between the transition but this is a better way because you can use any footage with this and if you want to change your plan at the end of the day then you can change your footage with this effect but what you need to do is make sure it fits properly and you need to do it patiently you need to do it very very patiently So I'm going to just fast forward this portion. Okay, so, so this is the last frame. Actually not the last frame of the clip, but for the last frame of the mobile phone, this is the last clip. One thing I did not mention or did not show in this screen recording is that if you want, you can cut this portion where the screen has been fully shown and you can add a color gradient filter to the first portion of the video so that it looks more natural with the environment of the mobile phone. So that is pretty much it. This is how the screen replacement works and if you are new here and if you have never watched Brandon Lee's videos then make sure to check out his video and I will give the link in the bio as well. So thank you so much for watching guys, hope you liked my video and if you are interested in photography, photography and filmmaking and all those other stuff then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of stuff and if you like the stuff I do in my channel then make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the like button and the subscribe button and with that being said, this is Pizza Sammy signing out. Peace out. Thank you.